Right fellas, welcome back to another beer review and this time we are reviewing the last in the series that's just been released from Idle Valley Brewery. This is the 45th Parallel, it's an Imperial IPA coming out at 8.9%. Now, if you don't know Idle Valley Brewery, go over to their website, link in the description below underneath this video. When you've done watching this video, go and check it out. But they've, uh, they've got a core range and they've released limited stock of their seasonal range and this is one of them. I have reviewed the others so go and check them out but this is the last one we've got to review. 45th Parallel, 8.9%, 74 IBUs, Simcoe, Cascade, Chinook and Citra in this one. So I am I'm really looking forward to it. Let's get it cracked open, see what I've got. So the last one we reviewed from them was a, was a rye, a red rye and that was really spicy, really nice. These are bottle conditioned so don't swirl them around like I did the last time you'll get all kinds of sediment in them. All kinds. So we've got a nice hiss from this. <sighs> Good lord. That stops you in your tracks. Let's give her a pour. Let's give her a pour, fellas. Let's give her a pour. Mm. 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 <laughs> what am I doing? What am I doing? My good lord, that has a punchy, a punchy aroma. Appearance, she's a cloudy one, guys, she's a cloudy one. But, I have been swirling this beer around while I've been setting up, and uh, this is probably the fourth time I've tried to record this. Various things have been happening. Um, so, like I say, living beer, yeast cake in the bottom from the secondary fermentation, so don't disturb it when you're pouring it out. Or about to open it but there we go hazy beer but she's a lovely light copper color and she's created somewhat of a head but it has dwindled while I've been talking to you there's carbonation in there rising let's go for the aroma oh man it's like a fruity pine it's got a piney dank fruity aroma to it the tropical fruits coming from the Simcoe mixing with the uh, Chinook that is a nice, a nice aroma. Um, interesting thing about this beer. This beer was uh, brewed with uh, pale malt, amber malt, and brown sugar. And you do get that, you do get that, um, that brown sugar smell that you would associate with, with a barley wine. You know that sort of rich, sweet aroma. But only a small amount. Let's dive in guys, cheers for the last one, they've been good, and this one's going to be available late August, so keep an eye out for it. Well, as you can see, fellas, I am quite a bit down the pint. I couldn't sort of put into words straight away what I thought about this Imperial IPA. There was so much happening that it sort of <laughs> boggled my brain a bit. I couldn't get the first thing out I wanted to talk about. I had to spend a bit of time with it. And here's what I've got. 45th Parallel Imperial IPA, 8.9%. Off the back, straight away, you're getting this intense hop flavour. It's the dank pine and the tropical fruits and just a hint of citrus that work so well in the beer. There's quite a bit of residual sweetness in the beer which is needed to balance the bittering at the back end which I can still feel now. And because there is quite a bit of residual sweetness which needs to be there if it didn't have the dank pine flavor from the uh, from the Chinook then I think it could run the risk of getting a bit too clarty and a bit too sweet and claggy however this has been well executed it's been well brewed and it's been well thought out you just get this run of residual sweetness straight into the bitterness so it, it sort of holds it all back 
and then the hops playing through while it takes you on that journey is citrus, your mangoes, your passion fruits, but this dank pine that sort of holds it all back, keeps it all sort of well balanced, well maintained through the beer, so as not to let it get too sweet. I like it. Carbonation is good. I do like the way Ida Valley Brewery carbonate the beers, and uh, what I mean by that is I like the amount of carbonation that they put into the beers. Mouthfeel is a good high-end mouthfeel that you'd expect with an Imperial IPA. 8.9% and you know it's 8.9% there's no mistaking it there's no picking this up and, and mistaking it for just a normal IPA it's definitely warming it definitely works well with the the mouth feel and the residual sweetness and then tropical fruits coming off the hops and as you can see there's not a lot left I have enjoyed it so give it a go don't take my word for it. Pick one up yourself and make your own goddamn mind up. But there we go. The 45th Parallel Imperial IPA from Idle Valley Brewery. Go and check the website out. Links below. Go and check the beers out. Like I said, you can get your hands on this one uh, late August. There's only 700 of them made. So, it's up to you whether you want to try it out. Mm -hmm. So that's it, fellas. That concludes the new range of beers that's been released from Ado Valley Brewery. Go and check out my other videos on the um, on the seasonal beers if you haven't seen them already. And go and check the website out, link below. So that's it fellas, that is it. So don't forget to thumb up this video. Keep the thumb on down. Don't forget to subscribe, it's the little, little red button down here that says subscribe. Click it and you won't miss out on what's coming up next. And share the video, get it out there for all to see. For all to see. And that's it fellas. So until next time, I'm out of here.